Match number 13 of the Big Bash features the Brisbane Heat and the Adelaide Strikers. Let's build our fantasy team on my 11 circle fantasy pick on ESPN Greek Info. Tom Moody is all set to join me, Rono Kapoor. Right, let's go to our pro tip first up. Some numbers for you. Average score batting first in Brisbane across the last eight T20 games is just 137. Six of those eight games have been won by the team chasing. So make sure you have enough bowling options as well as players from the chasing side. That's an interesting pro tip, Tom. It suggests we wait, or the viewers wait for the toss and then try and restructure their fantasy team accordingly to favour the team batting second. What do you make of that? Yeah, look, I don't mind that. It's not a bad tactic, period, is, is waiting for the toss and seeing how that unfolds. But I, I think also that statistic may be a little bit blurred because of just the, 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 the incredibly poor form with the bat that the Brisbane Heat have had over the last year and, a, year and a bit. So, you know, certainly Chris Lynn and his gang will be hoping they can turn that around. Yeah, it's not been a good start for the Brisbane Heat. Two losses out of two, so let's see if they can change things up. Now, as far as player availability goes, the Adelaide strikers skipper Alex Carey as well as Seema Harry Conway will not be available due to isolation protocols. We're moving to our team. Before that, a quick reminder that on the My11 Circle Fantasy app, 100 credits for every user to pick their fantasy team. Four categories of players to choose from, batsmen, bowlers, wicketkeepers and all-rounders. You can pick a maximum of seven players from one team in any given contest. Every player's individual credit value is listed on the app. And watch out for our four substitute options that we'll give you towards the end of this video. Going to our top picks, Jack Wildermuth will feature as our captain choice. Now, he is one of the most improved players from last season and a devastating little cameo uh, with bat uh, and uh, handy wickets with the ball last match. Managed uh, 11 ball, 31, four sixes and three wickets. So before coming into this uh, big bash season 10, he'd also scored a century and picked up four wickets in the three-day tour game against India A. So decent form going into it. We know he can get two points with bat and ball. Jack Wildermuth is our captain choice. Our vice captain choice is Jake Weatherall. The Adelaide Strikers opener has been in very good run scoring form. Registering scores of a 48 ball unbeaten 68 and a 15 ball 27 in the last couple of games. Our captain choice is Jack Wildermuth and our vice captain is Jake Weatherall. They give you double and 1.5 times the points respectively. So pick them very carefully. Going to our top picks, Chris Lynn features. Now, we never leave Chris Lynn out whenever Brisbane Heat feature. He doesn't always get you the big points, but if he does fire, we know he can get you loads of points. That strike rate of over 148 and the fact that no one's hit more sixes than Lynn in Big Bash history, 152 in 77, just uh, keeps us tempted to keep him in our team. Peter Siddle is there. The former Australia Pacers at five wicket haul against the Hurricanes in the second last game helped his side get over the line and also earned him the Man of the Match award. We know that the veteran Seema was the joint leading wicket taker for the Strikers in BBL Season 9 along with Rashid Khan. He took 19 wickets in 14 games at an average of just over 18. Rashid Khan is there as well. Now, he's picked up a wicket in each of his three games so far, but is expected to make a bigger impact against a side that tends to struggle against spin. Rashid Khan's numbers against the Brisbane Heat, eight wickets in five games, average of just over 14, an economy of 5.65. Our top picks, Jack Wildermuth, Jake Weatherold, Chris Lynn, Peter Siddle and Rashid Khan. To sum up our top picks, Tom, thoughts? Yeah, I think that's a, a pretty good uh, group of top picks. I like the fact that Jake Weatherall's at the top there as captain too. He's in a real sweet spot with his form uh, and it's come off the back of that tour game against India. So he's uh, gone from strength to strength. Chris Lynn, we know what he's capable of doing and there's a big one around her. And as you rightly say, how can you ever leave Rashid Khan out of your uh, top picks? Yep, simple. Some of them just pick themselves, don't they? I know Tom's a fan of Rashid Khan. Everyone knows that. He's also a fan of Mujib Rahman, who's in our differential picks. We've got Mujib, who's still considered a mystery spinner in spite of being around for a few years, but uh, did, uh, didn't did quite enjoy a Big Bash uh, Season 9, picking up just three wickets in six games. Very good CPL, though, and we do know he can have a big impact, uh, Mujib Rahman, on his day. Daniel Worrell is there as well in our differential picks. He's been one of the best swing bowlers in the tournament, and he gets wickets early for the Adelaide Strikers in the power play. Brilliant so far. Four wickets in three games. Can get you points with that. So, uh, Dan Worrell along with Mujibu Rahman round off our differential picks. Looking at our full team, keeper option, of course, is Harry Nielsen from the Adelaide Strikers in the absence of Alex Carey. There's Max Bryant, Chris Lynn, Jake Weatherald and Jonathan Wells, Daniel Lawrence, Jack Wildermuth, Mujibu Rahman, Rashid Khan, Dan Worrell and Peter Siddle. Substitutes bench includes the likes of Tom Cooper, Ben Lochlin, Phil Salt and Matt Renshaw. Alternate scenario, 
can throw in Matt Renshaw as a potential replacement for Jonathan Wells. Let's see if Tom Moody likes that one. Tom. Yeah, I, I'd keep Jonathan Wells in there, to be honest with you. He's, he's been such a form player in that middle order for such a long time. So I'd be reluctant to make that change. The one that I possibly would consider is possibly Phil Salt into that uh, batting group, maybe for Max Bryant. But uh, outside of that, uh, that to me looks like a pretty strong team that should get you plenty of points. All right. That's all we'd want. Thank you very much, Tom Moody, for your time and your thoughts. More from Tom as Big Bash rolls on. And make sure you check in with latest team news uh, after the toss. Do join us again for expert opinion, stats, data, and whatever you need to pick your fantasy teams on My 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket Four. 